Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install a Java version on your AWS EC2 instance. First, let's start here. You can see that I have an EC2 instance running in my AWS EC2 dashboard. I'm starting here because I'm going to need to use the public DNS to this instance. I can grab it here and copy it to my clipboard. We'll be using this in several commands as we work to install Java on our EC2 instance. Before we get to work, another thing that you need to do is to get the appropriate Java JDK. I'm using version 13, so I simply Googled for Java JDK 13, and it brought me to the Oracle download page. I'm not going to show you here, but I have downloaded the JDK bin.targz for a Linux distribution to my hard drive. I'll show you how to upload that to our EC2 instance. If you do not have a Linux version of the appropriate JDK for your development environment, go ahead and pause the video and go download that now. And remember where you've put that. Notice here, I have a folder called EC2, and in my folder I have my PEM file, so I can use that to get into my AWS instance. And then I also have my tar.gz file for my Linux JDK 13 version. I'm going to go ahead and open a terminal on my Mac into this folder. For those of you using Windows, you may have to do this using PuTTY. Here you can see that my terminal is open on my EC2 folder. That includes my PEM file and my downloaded Java version. First thing I need to do is elevate myself to a super user. So I'll type sudo su. and type in the password. So the next little while we'll be working within the terminal to upload, then unzip to install our Java version to our Amazon Linux EC2 instance. The first step from here is we need to connect into our AWS EC2 instance. We can do this on a Mac or a Linux machine using SSH. Type SSH-I, then in quotes put the name of your PAM file, then put ec2-user at, and then after that, copy in the endpoint of your EC2 instance. You will then connect into the EC2 instance. Currently, our EC2 instance doesn't have much loaded on it, but we're going to put Java on as the first thing. To get started, we also need to be super users, so type in sudo SU. First thing we should always do with the need C2 instance is to update it. So type yum and update. It's going to ask you if you want to make the updates that are shown here, so hit yes to make those. These updates should help us with our basic Linux installation. Let's check if there's a Java version on our machine. Type Java version. Notice Java command is not found because we picked the EC2 instance without any Java, so we need to install it. In order to install it, let's first make a subdirectory to put it in. I'm going to use the directory JVM, which I'm going to put into the user lib JVM folder. Now let's go have a look at that. Hit cd dot dot to go up a level. ls-l, we can see what's in this folder. We're not quite there yet. cd dot dot, up one more level. ls-l, notice here, two levels up from EC2, we can see the basic file system of our Linux instance. Lib. Let's have a look at cd user slash lib. If I see what's in there, I'll see my JVM is here. I need to make my JVM writable so I can actually post a file in here and put something there. So I'm going to modify the writes on the JVM folder. Notice at the moment that the user has the read, write, and execute, but it's only read and execute for the other two. 
So let's make them all read, write, execute. You see, I've adjusted that. Now for the moment, we're done connecting into our EC2 instance. We need to get back to our home directory on our machine. So type exit and then exit again. And you can see that we've now closed our connection. I'm going to type clear to clear the screen. Next thing we need to do is upload the zipped installation file that we downloaded into that folder. So here we need the endpoint again. We're going to use the following command scp-i, then the name of your PEM file, mine is fullstackdemo.pem, then you want to put the file name of your downloaded JDK file, mine is jdk-13.0.2 underscore linux dash x64 underscore bin dot tar dot gz. Replace that with whatever yours is called. Then EC2 user at, then you want to have the URL of your EC2 instance, colon, and then the path where you're going to put it, slash user, slash live, slash JVM. Hit return, and you'll see that that will start uploading. It may take it a few minutes. Now that you can see that my file is uploaded, I can now return to my EC2 instance, unzip the file, and then set up the environmental variables. So let's connect back into our EC2 instance with SSH. Now I need to navigate to the JVM folder so that I can unzip the file that I have copied into it. So do cd slash usr slash lib slash jvm. Let's have a look to see if it's there. You can see that the file has been uploaded. Now we can use the following command to unzip this file. We'll use tar zxvf and then the file name. In this case jdk-13.0.2 underscore linux dash x64 underscore bin dot tar dot gz. When you hit enter, you should see that all the files get unzipped. Let's clear to get it started at the top again. Now, if you think this is fully installed, you got another thing coming. Type Java dash version. Notice it still says that the Java command is not found because we need to add some environmental variables so that our Linux installation knows where Java is at. To do this, we need to edit a file called environment. That is in the etc folder. Let's first elevate ourselves to super user, then type nano slash etc slash environment. Then we're going to put a couple of lines in here. We need to have a path command, and we need to have the Java home command. For my installation, that's going to be path equals slash usr slash lib slash jvm slash jdk dash 13.0.2 slash bin. The other environmental variable I need to set is Java home. This is going to be equal to slash user usr slash lib slash jvm slash jdk dash 13.0.2. Once you made those changes, control X, yes, and enter to save. We're going to enter the next few commands in order to inform the system about our Java's location. First, type update alternatives dash dash install, then in quotes, the path user bin java. I'm going to put the word java in quotes, and then we're going to put the actual path and location of java on our system. Quote, user slash lib slash jvm slash jdk 13.0 slash bin slash java quote follow that up with a zero 
And similarly, we're going to do the same thing for the keyword Javac or Java Compile. Now use update alternatives dash dash set Java to that location. And then finally, update alternatives dash dash Javac to its location. Let's hit clear. Let's check to see if it recognizes our Java version now. Java dash version. Look at that. Java version 13.0.2. So we now have our Java version that we need installed on our AWS EC2 instance. In the next video, I'll show you how to add Tomcat to this instance.